Hello, it's Mr. Baumgarten here, and in today's video, we are going to use uh, image recognition tools within Python to detect a face. So we're going to use our cameras, take take photos, and let Python figure out where the face is inside the photo, so that we can then create some kind of face filter, sort of like what you get with your Instagram or your Snapchat or your you know or your various camera apps these days. So we're aiming for an end product similar to what you can see on the screen right now. So let's uh, get Moo up and running and get this show on the road, shall we? Right, so I've just turned off my web camera so that I can take photos through Python. And I'm just gonna create a new Moo program. Uh, so just to remind you how to take a photo, we're gonna, uh, from Pill, we are gonna import and straight away, I'm just going to import the image. I'm also going to import image draw and the image font because we're going to use that later on. Uh, then we're going to import the image tools. And you remember we create a variable called camera or something like that. We're going to use image tools. We've got camera, and I need to put the one in the brackets, parentheses, sorry, uh, for my web camera. You probably don't need to do that. And then I'm going to take a picture using the camera. So it's the take photo command. Uh, and then let's just show the picture, test that that still works. So if I run that, it's going to ask to um, save it. So I'm just going to call it detect the face. Because that's what we're going to make it do in, in the meantime. And any time now while I'm talking, it's going to take a photo and probably show me halfway through a phrase as it takes its picture. And uh, there I am. All right, so that's working. Now, to detect a face, a couple of little things we need to add. First, you're going to need to get your web browser up and running. And if you can go to my website, so pbaumgarten.com slash myp, slash InstaLife. And that will take you to this page here for the InstaLife unit. I have links to all the various videos. I've got the Get New software link. Uh, but critically for what you need right now is, are these files needed. There are two files that you will need for this activity. So the heart cascade frontal face default. This is, um, if I just click on it here, it's a whole bunch of numbers. But what it is, is it's code that Python will be able to use to detect uh, where a face is. And then dogface.png uh, is a PNG file with ears, nose, and a tongue uh, that we will use to superimpose over the detected face. So both of these, right click on the link, go to save link as, and then go to your MooCo folder and save it in there. So you can see I've got the hard cascade one in there already and do the same with dog face, save link as, new code folder, and I'm just gonna save that straight in there like that. All right, once you've got those two files, you can close your web browser, and let's see if we can detect where the face appears inside this picture. Uh, so I am just going, image tools has a function called get faces. Uh, because there could be more than one face inside this picture and Python will be able to tell us where, where all those faces are. So I'm gonna create a variable called faces and these will be all the different coordinates of the faces that appear within the photo. Uh, so it's image tools dot get underscore faces and then you give it the variable containing the photo that you're wanting it to look at. So in this case, that's just gonna be picture and then you need to give it the name of that Har Cascade file uh, inside text quotes. So it's H A, -A R C A S C A D E underscore uh, frontal face as one word underscore default dot XML. Close the quote, close the parentheses. Um, and so rather than just showing this picture, Let's print out what it puts inside this faces variable. 
So now if I run this piece of code, hopefully it detects my face and it'll give us four numbers appearing on the screen. We're kind of used to using four numbers to represent coordinates within images. So we should be used to this as well. And there it is. So my face, um, now these numbers work slightly differently to the, what they did with the rectangles before. So I'm just going to explain it. Uh, we have our X and Y coordinate for the top left corner. So the amount that we come in from the left and the amount that we come down from the top, that part is normal. But then this number is the, the width and this number is the height of the face. So it's not the right location and bottom location, it's the width and the height. So if we want to use the, these values to draw a oops, um, to draw a rectangle, we're going to need to adjust them accordingly. Now you see here that there are two sets of brackets. That's because this first set, inner set is for a particular face, and then we could have had a second face inside there. Which um, if I copy and paste this, I'll just put it in here. No. All right. Uh, so for example, any given face would have the x and the y coordinates and then we would have the width and the height. And then we would have had a second set like that if there was more than one face, it would have looked like that. So that's why there's brackets inside of brackets. Uh, but fortunately, Python makes that easy enough for us to deal with. We can use a for loop that will automatically look through uh, was the numbers iterate through the numbers inside uh, the set of brackets. So for any particular face, for any particular face inside faces. So now if I print this out, found face, and let's just print out face and I'll show you what the difference is here. So you can see here when we printed faces first up, it was brackets inside of brackets. And then found a face just gave us one set of four numbers. We can then take that even further to extract uh, the x and the y coordinate, the width and the height is uh, are the four values that are inside a face. And so we can print that out as um, the x, you know, the x value was that, the, the y value is that. Oops. The width is the width, and the height is the height. All right, so for every individual face that it sees, it's telling me this is the x value, the y value, the width value, and the height value. So it happens my width and height are the same in this particular photo. And if I had multiple faces in this photo, uh, it would print these out for each individual face it finds. So what can we do with this? Let's start by drawing a rectangle around the face that it detects. We've got our from peel import image draw. So we have our drawing tools already handy. We just need to create the variable for it. So let's go drawing is equal to image draw dot draw. And you remember I need to tell it what picture I'm wanting it to draw on. So that's um, picture in this case. Uh, and so I'm just going to draw a rectangle around my face and I need to give it those four numbers so x and the y coordinate they're pretty well right because that's how much I come in from the left how much I come down from the top but I need to tell it how far across to the right edge to draw the rectangle uh, and that is just my x coordinate plus the width and then how far is the where is the bottom of the picture well that'll be the y coordinate plus the height so that's those four numbers. And then rather than using fill to cover my face, let's draw an outline around my face. And I might make this, uh, let's make it like a sky blue. That's not right. That's a sky blue. And give it the width of 10 pixels. So now when I show this picture at the end, I should have a 
drawer is not defined because here I call my variable drawing and here I say draw. So let's quickly correct that and run it again. And there we have it. We have a blue rectangle around my face. So now that we know Python is detecting the location of the face, I can now load in that PNG that's got the dog ears and nose on it and I can use these coordinates to then paste it over the top of the original image. So let's load in the dog picture uh, for a start. Um, and that's just image.open and what did we call the file? Dogface, uh, and that was a PNG. It's a dogface.png. And let's just test that we can paste that on to our image. All right, so picture is, is our main photo. So picture.paste dog face and let's just paste it at 00, zero just to test that that works okay so we have the dog face loaded uh, but it's kind of covering everything up and it's so it's too big and it's uh, filled in in black which we don't want so there's a couple of little things we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to resize the dog face but we also need to tell it to paste the photo transparency. There's a transparency layer in that PNG uh, and that needs a third value in our paste command, which is actually just dog face again. So that should make it transparent. Okay, so that's worked to make it transparent. We've got the doggy ears. So we need to resize it uh, and then reposition it. So I want to resize it based upon the width and the height of, of my face, which fortunately we know. So let's do that. Uh, so before we paste it, we how about we replace what's in Skype dog face with a resized version, which is the same height and width of my of my face okay so that's been resized it's a little stretched but it'll do for uh, our testing purposes now we just need to reposition it we and to do that we need to paste the top left corner of this image where my face is which thankfully we know where that is as well we've got that X and Y coordinate value so instead of 0 0 let's paste that at X and Y. All right, so it has pasted it in the right location. Might want to adjust the X and Y a little bit. We could, you know, we could say, okay, come maybe subtract 50 uh, off the X and subtract 50 off the Y, which then means we want to enlarge how much we resize it. We might need to tweak it a little bit. And we, once we kind of get that right, then we might, uh, then obviously we'll stop drawing the rectangle as well. So let's, Let's try that. Let's come, come back 50 on both of those. And so then I might increase the height and the width of the resize by about 100. That's looking a little better. I uh, probably don't need to resize the width quite so much, but you get the idea. I'm going to turn off the blue rectangle now. And yeah, I might just take off the 100 that we're adding to the width. So I'm just going to stop drawing that rectangle now, but I'll keep the line of code there just in case it comes in useful later on. And let's give this a test. Okay, there we go. So that's a, uh, a demo. And now, oh, so you upload your demo that you got successfully working. See if you can get someone else in the photo as well and test that it is working for multiple faces. And now it's over to you to create your own face filters and see what other creations you can come up with.
Alright, this is Mr. Bond, the item, signing out.